Hello everyone. Welcome to IFS Insider YouTube videos. I'm Romesh Joseph, working as a program manager for Human Capital Management Solution at IFS R&D. In this video, I will demonstrate the IFS Time Clock, which is a tool to capture employee attendance, information of the shop flow activities, as well as provide some useful self-service functionalities. With Time Clock, organizations need not purchase third-party clocking terminals as this could be run on any device including kiosk terminals. Here, I would be using two scenarios to show the capabilities of IFS Time Clock. The first scenario would be a Time Clock that is to be placed at the entrance to capture the in and out of employees and the next is designed for the shop flow employees. In the Time Clock, background images, colors, text, buttons can be easily changed by the users based on the needs of the organization. This is the first example of time clock to be placed at an entrance to capture the in and out of employees. In setting up, the prominence has given to the buttons that will be mostly used by an ordinary employee and the rest have been moved to different pages. Here you could see the commonly used in and out buttons and towards the right, the commonly used self-service functionalities are placed. Now, I will clock in for employee David using the RFID card which is mapped to the employee. Employee David got successfully signed in. Next, I will glance you through some of the self-service functionalities. When David wants to check his absence limits, that can be easily done using the absence limits button. Now I will place the card. There you go. David can view his absence limits and the current utilization. For David to check the weekly attendance, the time card button would be helpful. I will place the card for identification. Here you see the attendance for the week and could navigate to previous weeks as well. It also allows to confirm the time. You could see the status got updated to confirmed. Next, we will have a look on our second scenario designed for the shop floor employees. In here, the prominence has given to the buttons associated with the production, which are placed in the mid screen. In this scenario, let's see how David, who is an employee working in the production floor, will start an operation and report some quantity into that operation. To start production, I will click on the start production button, place the RFID card to identify the employee. Then I need to specify the operation ID here, either I could key in or scan the barcode. Since I have the barcode, I will scan the barcode now and then click on OK. There you go. Now the operation has started. Next. Let's report some quantity for the operation that was started. I will click on report quantity and place the card for employee identification and scan the barcode for operation ID and specify the quantity as one and click OK. Now David has successfully reported the quantity for the operation that he started. Similarly, much of the data related to shop flow operations can be captured using IFS time clock. This brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe the IFS YouTube channel.